Okay, so we have um, our next um, speaker, uh, Finland, um, Helsinki Blockchain Center and Blockchain Forum Finland. We have um, Damon, uh, who's going to represent the Finland's um, blockchain ecosystem, and his colleague Marcus Latonin, um, our good old friend. He's, he's also here. So uh, over to you, uh, Damon. Thank you. Well, hello, everyone. Um, thank you for joining us in this virtual world here. Uh, my name is Damon Hernandez. I'm uh, a not native Finn, but living in Finland and a community member of the Helsinki Blockchain Center. And so it's uh, with great pride and honor I'm able to represent uh, what's going on there. So uh, as we are here today to talk about the promise of Web3 and empowering societies through innovation and sensible policymaking. And Finland's focus on really pioneering sustainable innovations with blockchain and digital technologies. So first, I'd like to start a little bit about uh, who the Helsinki Blockchain Center is, for those that don't know. Um, this is an organization that was founded by a gentleman that's joining us, Marcus Lettinen. And the Blockchain Center supports and assists companies entering the blockchain industry here in Finland. And they provide a framework for companies like my own um, for both domestic and international networking for startup companies in the blockchain field. And they have helped companies working within blockchain in their expansion efforts, both here and at home and abroad. And so it's this value is one of the reasons why I'm excited to be a member uh, enough to even be representing. And the Blockchain Center acts as a reliable partner in opening up um, new markets and they're uh, by supporting the export Finnish know-how to international markets and for those that are wanting to come into the Finnish market as well. So for those that are interested, I definitely say go to um, the Helsinki Blockchain Center website, which is just www.helsinkiblockchaincenter.com to find out more information. So the goal for us is how are we going to hit carbon neutral by 2030? And the Helsinki Blockchain Center is at the forefront of Finland's efforts to lead in sustainable innovations using blockchain and digital technologies. And the capital area of Finland here in Helsinki has the target to become carbon neutral by 2030. And achieving this ambitious goal requires definitely global co cooperation and a significant green shift. So how will this be done? In the first years, we strive to get the acceptance higher through more meaningful blockchain installations and proof of concepts to be able to collect reference data to provide and prove these concepts. And most importantly, use the most advanced DAO and AI and blockchain technologies to demonstrate this. Now to share what has been done so far is uh, different central organizations such as uh, CITRA, which is an innovation fund for those that um, aren't familiar, and other Finnish state organizations have done a lot of preparation in the last 11 months on future legislative work for new government uh, named 6 plus 1 is the name of this recommendations for Finland. And if anyone just Google searches CITRA 6 plus 1 recommendations for Finland, you can definitely find out more information about this or perhaps Marcus can drop it in the chat as well as this group around their latest project around DAOs where the blockchain center hopes to get the best legislation for the industry to allow um, great new projects as was presented at another link that I hope Marcus uh, provides there in the chat window and examples of projects using the blockchain that are coming to Finland via these partnerships with Helsinki Blockchain Center include um, material tracking, which was a project um, that essentially tracks materials through their life cycles in partnership with um, Sweden Cromway and Norden, uh, Cir or, I'm sorry, Netherlands uh, Circularis, uh, these organizations as well as an example of waste management and recycling, which the ideas here were to highlight initiatives to promote recycling and responsible waste management with those same organizations mentioned before. Had a little bit of a lag out there, pardon me. Uh, so one way that the Blockchain Center is looking to grow community and leverage technologies like we're seeing here today 
is empowering these societies through innovations. And so there is a Helsinki blockchain center virtual world using the same platform of spatial.io. Where here, uh, the blockchain center looks to promote and showcase blockchain companies and then focusing on Finnish innovations um, and also highlighting international collaborations. So for those that are interested in, in this type of collaboration, We'd love to be able to show your projects and these projects in this center. And again, you can contact Marcus for more information on this. Also, this space introduces opportunities to those uh, here locally via jobs board in the digital space. In addition to being a space that provides um, kind of a digital environment for uh, hybrid events such as hackathons, and they have um, one event that they just finished up which was with the uh, local chapter of the IEEE, where it was really trying to use uh, these types of virtual world technologies um, to, again, kind of eat our own dog food, as, as they say in the States, uh, with, with this type of tech. And of course, there are upcoming events and showcases, and, and we definitely extend an invitation for attendees here to engage, because it seems everyone's uh, pretty much uh, familiar with uh, this environment, even the gentleman or, or person who's running around there in the background, which is, which is quite fun. But in reality, what still needs to be done? So one thing that we see is, you know, we kind of break this into a few different categories. So one is meaningful solutions. You know, we need to prove that the platform economy powered with these solutions will provide reference data that is indisputable to prove the superiority of blockchain technology. We need many of them and quickly to be in place collecting data. An example of this is a solution installed into the Greater Helsinki Area Circular Valley Project. Another thing that we see the need for is meaningful collaboration. The operators and companies that already have solutions will come to this excellent market and seek good positions with a new kind of sharing mechanisms to be invented as the collaboration gets deeper. And we also see that establishing an affordable offering to help involve blockchain and other technology companies to comply with circular economy, CSRD reporting directive, and ESRS standards. And by doing so, Helsinki Blockchain Center is seen as a lucrative place to be where we can create a competitive advantage in this area. So we do put out a call for collaboration. And what we're looking for in the collaboration now is more courses for the education of developers. We want to learn from others. How are you educating the people that are interested in working with these technologies? Also, the capacity to sustain networking event platforms that connect industry experts like this, innovators, regulators, and startups market and promotion support to expand and build upon event quality throughout the EU. Joint development of practical use cases, prototyping and testing is evidence of the potential of what can be done with Blockchain Center and also with our organization. And then also strong collaboration with other emerging technology professionals that complement blockchain, such as AI, IoT, 5G, and as being rolled out here in Finland, 6G. And what the Helsinki Blockchain Center can offer is an ability to contribute knowledge, workshops, and extra assistance to your circular economy and green shift. An ecosystem orchestrator for blockchains to come to the Finnish market. We would like to be that concierge for you and that guide. And the circular economy uh, directive, make it compliant with double materiality analysis as a turnkey service. So in conclusion, we really look forward to um, working with you all. And the Helsinki Blockchain Center has said is at the forefront of these Finnish efforts to lead in sustainable innovations using these types of technologies. And even though the goal is to become carbon neutral by 2030, which is rather ambitious, we believe that we can achieve this through global cooperation and a significant green shift, not just here in Finland, but throughout the EU. So. We look forward to collaborating with you all and helping the EU set an example for a better future through blockchain technologies. And please contact Marcus if you have more questions. So on that, thank you for your time, or as we say here in Finland, kitos.
Thank you very much, David. Um, I, I have a question for you, um, if you don't mind, just quickly. Um, last year, uh, Marcus gave uh, a wonderful talk uh, at the summit, um, and he described the environment in Finland basically as hostile. It, have you? Is there? Has there been a change from a policy perspective uh, since the summit? And is that there is a change? To, does that revolve around green issues and um, policymakers seeing the, the importance of blockchain in, in, in the circular economy? Is there a shift? Yeah, well, well, well one, I would definitely ask um, if we could unmute Marcus because he'll be best suited for that. But um, it's, it's funny because I, I, I don't think hostile would ever be in the description I would use to describe anything Finnish. But um, again, I will let Marcus take over from here. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, can Marcus has been muted. Yeah. Yeah, we can hear you, Marcus. Go ahead. Okay, lovely. Yeah, uh, maybe if you pay attention that the 11 months like the Finnish government has uh, really done a significant change, like with these, uh, we have a new government that uh, operational, uh, maybe like five days now, uh, presenting. Coming budgets and so on. Uh, uh, this uh, CIPRA organization, uh, but the uh, state organization itself, uh, made these six plus one recommendations to Finland. You could kind of read from there that that there they want uh, it to be driven. It's a compromise. It's not anything optimal. It's already like uh, much better than what we have had. Like uh, we have like all the success stories from Finland, uh, they have been going abroad, like for, uh, for example, from the Finnish Mafia in uh, United Arab Emirates, that's a joke, so, uh, but like they uh, seek different places, like the early states, uh, blockchain center Helsinki and uh, blockchain center Dubai uh, a, a connection to kind of uh, be getting more information from each other and uh, then this is the thing that we are yeah, like seeking now and offering, especially here in the virtual worlds. We could kind of uh, see the light is uh, the local mayor was here just before Christmas and we saw a little bit like what can be done in the virtual worlds and then when we left, uh, Marcus, I would never have believed that I, I, I leave from here so happy. But yeah, it has changed uh, a lot here in Finland, and that is the reason that our reporting is uh, different this year. Never so hopeful. Good to hear. Thank you.